right. Okay, Mike, uh, how's the mare? Yeah, she travelled well. Um, obviously, uh, you know, she had a respiratory infection about three or four weeks ago, so it hasn't been plain sailing. But um, you know, cl clinically, she's perfect. Yeah, and the trip is okay. The trip's been good. Yeah, they spent about 18 hours on the road, but um, something she's done before. She's been done before. And she's coping with the quarantine situation? Yeah, look, she is an uptight filly, you know, I mean, as Galileo's can be, and she gets very sweaty, you know, so it's not ideal. But, I mean, she is that way inclined, so, you know, it's probably, she's not acting out of order. Worried about perhaps a lack of pace in the race on Saturday? Not really, no. I think that suits us. I'm happy for her to, to, to dictate the pace or be right on it. Yeah. Similar situation to the July? Yes. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. She's still got that kick? She had, yeah, she, she ran last time in a mile and she kicked away from them very well. You know, she led and, uh, you know, for the 400 had a good kick on her, so I suppose it's um, still there. <laughs> Guys? Mike, I'm writing for an English paper, so, you know, we won't necessarily know too, too much about how, how good is this feeling? Just... I mean, I firmly believe she's world class. I would love to meet her in Dubai uh, for this carnival because, you know, she's, she's certainly a filly I would, I would expect to be very competitive. I think she's just going to get better and better. Uh, and I, I things haven't been ideal for Saturday's race. So. We'll lose or draw. She still is a very, very good filly. I think she's, you know, race right up there. But some of the best I've ever. So she'll be going around the world longer term. Oh, no, absolutely. No. You know, as soon as we can get them out of here, she'll be out of here. You know, I mean, there was no plan to keep her here anyway. You know, she would have been in Dubai if she could have been. But um, certainly, um, if she, uh, as soon as we know something, she'll be on the first ship out here. Is there any prospect at all of the, the quarantine stuff being lifted? The, I'm, the I'm optimistic. Um, uh, you know, we've, we've uh, made submissions to the OIE, which is a body that controls movement of all animals throughout the world. Um, and, and hopefully we'll have some clarity by about May, I think is when they sit. Um, uh, you know, I, I don't believe you know, that it can carry on in, in, in the situation it is at the moment. It's just it's impossible, but I'm confident of it. So, I mean, this, this year's out completely for the South African-based horses. There's no chance of getting in for World Cup now or anything? No, no, that's, no, that's absolutely okay. no chance. I mean, sh at best, we'll be out of uh, July, August would be, that would be, well, the best case scenario. I mean, you still got about 25 out there, haven't you? I mean, I've um, got 25 in the buying work. Yeah, but has it really sort of mess, messed up your plans? Did you have to sort of go, you know, look at looking elsewhere to get the? Well, the yes, up? a lot, and uh, you know, no fresh stock. You know, it's been hard to bring handicappers out of here. You know, mm -hmm. something rated like 100, 100 plus that's uh, going to be competitive in the handicaps in Dubai. You know, so we're sort of down on those horses, but we had to go shopping elsewhere, obviously. And uh, we had a few horses in training in the northern hemisphere that were bought for the Shakers, yearlings. You know, that looked to be coming through. So uh, they've come there, um, but certainly, you know, sometimes, you know, you go to these horses in trading sales or you're buying it from someone else, you're buying sometimes horses people are tired of. So, you know, you've got to freshen them up. It's not like you're buying fresh stock, mm. you know what I mean? They need fresh stock. Yeah. And, with, and after, after Dubai, I mean, I know the South African horses can't go. Were you going to Newmarket with some of these horses yes, in the summer? Was that the plan? That, that, yeah, we always do send a couple of nice ones back there, you know, six or seven, yeah. and just cruise around in the summer there with them, uh, and go get on the, you know, running into the yeah, there'll be definitely a few for that. If, if she were able to go to Dubai, what, what sort of races would you target with her? The World Cup or the... From, you know, I know if I got there in the shake, I'd say, please run her in the World Cup. But, I mean, ideally, I'd like to keep her on turf and go okay. for the duty-free. I mean, I know she's won a mile and a half, but I think it best trip's probably, you know, around 9, 10 years. I know it's always tempting with a $10 million brass tag. Switch surface, you know, sometimes it's got to be the right thing. Speaking of World Cup, Old Silvana, back in full work. Yeah, he's doing very, very well. He runs in the ninth. And he's heading for the World Cup? Yeah, well, he's got to, got to get through his prep first. But certainly that's the plan. It's Museo today, isn't it? Yeah. Museo today runs, yeah, we switched him to the turf, nine furlongs. He's, he's in very good form, so, I mean, if he, you know, he, he should be right there. Has it been worked under that tackle? It's not what it was the first year, you know, there's definitely been change. You can see by the colour actually it's changed. It's actually black now, I don't know why, but when it started out it was nearly white. So there, are, there have been changes. Um, I mean, I, I wouldn't say it's, I, I couldn't call it bad, um, but it, it's, it, doesn't, it just doesn't seem as, as it was the first year. The, 
the turf in, on the other hand is excellent. The turf's never been better. This year it's, it's fantastic. How often do you get out there? How does it how does it work for you? I spend most of my time actually. Anything else?